Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Cage Fighter. I can tell you, I think it came out a little bit ago. Probably has the year up there um, somewhere, or the date, 2020. So last year. And I think it showed up on like Redbox, and I never went and got it. And I was waiting for it to come on to something like this, um, and uh, waiting for the price to drop. You know, they all start out at 5.99 or whatever. Now you can rent it on Amazon Prime for 99 cents right now. Um, or maybe when you watch this, it'll be free. But um, So I've been kind of interested in seeing it. It's a 4.3 on IMDb. Um, 152 people have rated it so far. I don't know if that's the right one. I'm reading what Amazon says, not IMDb. But IMDb 4.3, which is not great. I run 38 minutes. But it's, a, um, it's about an MMA champ, a five-time champion, who um, his... Um, promoter, um, who is Gina Gershon, um, promotes to have him fight a wrestler. Um, and so, you know, he gets nervous or something like that. I don't know. It seems kind of interesting to me. I'm excited to see it. I just just wanted to wait for the price to drop, and now it's 99 cents. So I can't believe it's going to be not worth it. Um, but IMDb, yeah, so there it is, 4.3. Like I said, October it came out. And 387 people have rated it so far. So Gita Gershon and Chuck Liddell. So, who knows? 99 cents worth a, worth a, worth a try. I'll let you know if it's worth that, that dollar. So stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Cage Fighter, uh, Worlds Collide, uh, to say the full title. Uh, no check-ins. Um, uh, wasn't too good. You know, the acting was bad, and I say that as they have here at the credits, Gina Gershon speaking. She's like the the owner of Legends, I guess, or something like that. She's the, the head person who makes all these fights happen. And I just had to mute her. Normally I would wait and be like, oh, okay. But it's just so bad. And her, I don't know if it was her acting or the dialogue that they gave her. Oof. It was bad. So, you know, and she's a pretty well-known actor. Well, maybe not well-known, but she's an actress that's been around for a while, you know. Whereas everybody else I don't know. Um, you know, the, the fighters and stuff like that. Chuck Liddell I know, but Chuck Liddell is an MMA fighter who does a couple of little spots here and there. He's not really an actor. The acting in this is really, really bad. Um, you know, at first I thought the our, um, Reese who was our main star, he was okay, but then, no, they gave him some opportunity to show a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of range, I guess, I don't know, not range, but, you know, more than just being a, you know, a MMA fighter talking to the press, you know, and that's where I was like, oh, okay, this guy's not bad, but then it was pretty bad. There wasn't any good acting in it, there wasn't good dialogue in it, the story was pretty, you know, was your Rocky uh, three story with Mr. T and on Hulk Hogan essentially? So, a quick rundown of our we have our five time MMA champion in Legends, and I don't know if like Legends is something different than the MMA that that's on with Conor McGregor and everything like that. Quick, they reference Conor McGregor and the um, and Merriweather fight because the whole thing is this guy's a five time MMA champ, and then. Gina Gershon's character sets him up to fight a pro wrestler, just like Connor fought a pro um, boxer. So, um, you know, so, and that, of course, yeah, whatever. I don't want to tell you everything that happens, but you could probably imagine if it, it's not just one fight, so there's multiple fights, and then, you know, everything that happens because of that fight. He's married, has a kid, but you only see the kid once. His wife has very limited roles in it. It's really about him and what happens and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know what more to say. But uh, really, I compared it to uh, Rocky Three with Mr. T. If you've seen that, it's the same kind of story. Now, I will say the final fight was very, very disappointing. Um, I was shocked what they tried to do there. You know, I get it, um, sort of, but... I don't know. I can't elaborate because if you're going to watch it, I don't want to ruin it for you. I would recommend not. It's only 99 cents, and I'm disappointed that I paid 99 cents. 
should have waited it out and waited until it was free. Yes, I know. 99 cents. Who cares? It's the principle of it all. I tried to. I'm glad I could tell you this. I'm glad I did not pay it when it was $4.99 or $5.99 when it first came out, even though that's still cheap to rent a movie. But I had this feeling that I was not going to get my money's worth. And uh, I was right. I still didn't get my money's worth at 99 cents. Didn't like it at all. And I like watching sports related movies, you know, um, comeback movies, MMA related movies. All that kind of stuff, I like that. Um, but this one, not for me. So, there you go. It's a 48-hour rental. It's not one that I'll see again. I would not suggest this to anybody. Unless you're a friend or something like that. There's really, I mean, even if you like MMA, it's not like, you know, um, ooh, wow, a lot of cool stuff in MMA. There are a couple of fights, but they're pretty bad. They're pretty, it's poorly filmed. It's poorly written, um, and the wrestler was really bad um, at acting. I, I get it though, he was also trying to be like a wrestler, um, but phew. Alright, I think I've torched this movie enough. I get it's a 4.3. I am probably in the 4 range with it, which is rare, um, but there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, check it out, do what you want, drop me some comments, love to hear from you, subscribe to my channel, um, tell all your friends, and continue to tune in Kimmel's Irish Pub.